When you create a curtain wall that turns a corner, Revit may not create the corner as it would actually be constructed. But you can modify the corner manually, replacing what Revit creates with one of the special corner mullion types. I'll start the wall tool, choose the storefront curtain wall type in the type selector, and quickly place several segments of storefront curtain wall that turn a 45 degree corner and then a 90 degree corner. When I zoom in to the 90 degree corner, you can see that the mullions simply overlap. To create a different corner condition, select one of the overlapping border mullions. Click the pin to unlock the element so that it can be edited. Then, in the type selector, I'll choose the L corner type mullion. Revit displays an error because now two mullions overlap in the corner. Click Delete Elements to delete the other mullion. When I switch to the 3D view, you can see the new corner mullion. You'll need to repeat this process to replace the other mullions going up the corner of the wall. I'll switch back to the Level 1 Plan view and zoom in to the 45 degree corner. Again, you can see that the two mullions overlap. Again, I'll unpin one and this time I'll change it to the quad corner mullion. When the error dialog appears again, I'll click Delete Elements. With the mullion still selected, in the type selector, I'll change it to the L corner mullion. How about the trapezoid corner mullion? or the V-corner mullion. Again, when I switch back to the 3D view, you can see that you would need to repeat this process for the other vertical mullions in the corner. But as you can see, there are various corner mullions you can use to achieve the desired corner condition when curtain walls turn corners.